Now that you're familiar with the mechanism of nucleophilic addition reactions of carbonyl compounds, let's look at a few carbonyl compounds and see which among them would be more reactive towards the addition reaction. Okay, so here we have acetone versus ethanol. So we need to compare this and see which among them would be more reactive towards a nucleophilic addition reaction. So we know that in general aldehydes are more reactive than ketones and this as we have seen in the previous video is due to both steric as well as electronic factors. Now when we talk about steric factor you can see that ketones have two bulky alkyl groups hanging on either side of the carbonyl group whereas aldehydes have only one alkyl group attached to it and the other group attached to the carbonyl carbon is the small hydrogen atom which offers little to no steric hindrance correct so if you compare these two structures you can see that it looks something like this clearly these two groups offer a lot more steric hindrance to an incoming nucleophile as compared to ethanol which has only one bulky methyl group and the other side is pretty much empty and easily facilitates the attack of a nucleophile. Now coming to the electronic effect, here again you can see that ketones have two alkyl groups attached which are electron donating in nature. They donate electron density towards the electrophilic carbonyl carbon via plus I effect and this decreases the positive charge or the partial positive charge on the carbon atom. As a result, carbon atom here becomes less electrophilic and less attractive for a nucleophile to attack. Compare that with ethanol here. Here we have only one electron donating methyl group and this means that the partial positive charge in this case is greater than the partial positive charge in acetone. And this is why compared to acetone, ethanol is much more reactive towards nucleophilic addition reactions. So although aldehydes in general are more reactive than ketones, we have to again look at it case by case. What if instead of acetone we had let's say CF3COCH3. Basically the three hydrogen atoms here are replaced by highly electronegative fluorine atoms. In this case you will see that the reactivity of this compound trifluoroacetone would be much greater than the reactivity of ethanol. Now this is because here we have three fluorine atoms which are highly electron negative and draws away all the electron density from this carbonyl carbon. And what happens as a result of that? The positive charge on this carbon becomes very high and becomes susceptible to any nucleophilic attack. Even weak nucleophiles can attack this carbon and carry out a reaction. So you have to remember that when we say that aldehydes are more reactive than ketones, it's a general. At the end of the day, we need to see how electron deficient the carbonyl carbon is. More electron deficient the carbon is, greater will be its reactivity. Let's now compare two different types of aldehydes. So here we have ethanol versus benzaldehyde. That is here we are comparing an aliphatic aldehyde with an aromatic aldehyde. Now which among them do you think would be more reactive towards a nucleophilic addition reaction? So to answer this question, let's first look at the electronic effect. In both the cases we have a polar CO group and a partial positive charge on the carbonyl carbon and a partial negative charge on the oxygen atom. Now in this case we have an electron donating methyl group that donates electron density to the carbon center via plus I effect. On the other hand in the case of benzaldehyde the phenyl group attached here donates electron density to the electrophilic carbon center via plus R effect. In fact the phenyl group is electron withdrawing by inductive effect and electron donating via resonance effect. Because the resonance effect is a much more dominating factor plus R effect would obviously dominate the minus I effect and would be much more stronger. As you can see here, the pi electrons within the benzene ring can delocalize with the pi electrons of the C double bond group. And this delocalization of electrons stabilizes the positive charge on the carbon atom. That is, it is much less electrophilic in the case of benzaldehyde as compared to ethanol because of the plus R effect of the phenyl group attached here. So clearly you can see that when you look at the electronic effect, the partial positive charge in ethanol is much greater than the positive charge on benzaldehyde. And as a result, ethanol will be much more reactive towards nucleophilic addition reaction as compared to benzaldehyde. So the key factor that determines the reactivity of carbonyl compounds towards nucleophilic addition reactions is the electrophilicity of the carbonyl carbon. 
more partial positive charge or more electron deficient the carbon is greater will be its reactivity towards nucleophilic addition reactions.